Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsor, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come together in this Eucharistic celebration on this first Saturday of the month of August, coming together as God's children and also children of our Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. In this celebration, we ask that through her powerful intercession, our petitions and intentions, our prayers that we bring in this Mass, she may lead to her Son, Jesus. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin come to our aid, we pray, O Lord. 
and free us from every danger so that we may rejoice in your peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. Drill them into your children. Speak of them at home and abroad, whether you are busy or at rest. Bind them at your wrist as a sign, and let them be as a pendant on your forehead. Write them on the doorposts of your houses and your gates. When the Lord your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give you a land with fine large cities that you did not build, with houses full of goods of all sorts, that you did not garner, with cisterns that you did not dig, with vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant. And when, therefore, you eat your fill, take care not to forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery. The Lord your God shall you fear him shall you serve, and by his name shall you swear. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord live, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed, to David and his posterity forever. I love you, Lord, my strength. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord a man came up to jesus knelt down before him and said lord have pity on my son who is a lunatic and suffers severely Often he falls into fire and often into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus said in reply, O faithless and perverse generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I endure you? Bring the boy here to me. 
Jesus rebuked him, and the demon came out of him. And from that hour, the boy was cured. Then the disciples approached Jesus in private and said, Why could we not drive it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. Amen, I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and all of you who are joining us through this uh, online streaming of the celebration of the Holy Mass from here in uh, the Manila Cathedral. And as we have been uh, in our first reading almost every day, we have been following the journey of the people of Israel from their ancestor Abraham to their slavery in Egypt when Moses liberated them from Egypt and now, we have come to the point where the people of Israel was already in the threshold of crossing, going to the promised land. They have journeyed in the desert for years. And now, they are already coming into the land promised to them by God. But before they come to the promised land, Moses has a reminder for them. Bago pa man sila pumasok sa lupang pangako, ipinangako sa kanila ng Panginoon, apat na pung taon silang naglalakbay sa kawalan ng disyerto Papasok sila sa lupang pangako, mayroong paalala si Moses sa kanila. Moses said to the people of Israel, When we enter the promised land, you will have land, large cities, houses full of goods, cisterns full of water, vineyards full of olives, land flowing with milk, with honey, with food. You will be amazed by all of these blessings that you will receive. But please, Moses said, take care not to forget the Lord. The Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt and brought you here in this promised land. What a beautiful reminder from Moses. You will be having a lot of things for you. The people will become full with food. The people will become rich again. The people will have beautiful land and houses again. But please, in the midst of all these, do not forget who gave you all of these. And my dear brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful reminder also to all of us today that the source of all these blessings the source of all these goods that we receive is always the love of God for us. Ang paalala ni Moises sa mga taga-Israel na marami kayong mamanahin sa lupang pangako, kayo ay yayaman muli, mabubusog na muli ang mga tiyan ninyo, hindi na uli tayo mauuhaw, pero sana 
Huwag niyo namang kakalimutan kung sino ang nagdala sa inyo dito at nagbigay sa inyo niyan. At yan ay walang iba kundi ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. God blesses us because He loves us. That is the source of all blessing. The God who loves us is the source of all these blessings. That is why in the instruction of Moses to the people, he would say, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. This is the source of blessing. The God who loves us. And in turn, we recognize that there is only one God who loves us. And we in turn recognize it by loving God back. Sana po mga kapatid, ito po ang ating pagtiwalaan sa araw na ito na mayroon tayong Diyos na nagmamahal sa atin. Sabi ni Moises sa mga tao, wag lamang nakatutok ang mata doon sa mga ibinigay ng Diyos, kundi tingnan nyo ring mabuti. Saan ba galing ang lahat ng yan? Yan ay galing sa ating Diyos na marunong magmahal, ang Diyos na nagmamahal sa atin. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, every day when we wake up, especially in this time of our uh, stricter community quarantine, every day as we wake up, this is a beautiful reminder to all of us. Not only to, to think of what will I eat today, what will I do today, what, il, what will I worry about today, but first, when we wake up, we declare our faith in God who loves us. That there is a God who loves us. Tuwing tayo po ay babangon tuwing umaga, bago pa man natin isipin lahat ng mga alalahanin natin, sabihin muna natin that there is a God who loves me. There is a God who loves us. In our gospel reading today, why did Jesus heal the boy suffering from demonic possession, why was he able to heal the boy that the disciples could not heal? It is because Jesus is full of love for that boy, for the father who approached him, and for the boy who was being possessed by an unclean spirit. That is the source of healing, the love of Jesus for that boy. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, as we begin our day, let us declare that there is a God who loves us, that Jesus loves us, and because Jesus loves us, and Jesus has faith in the Father who also loves the Son and loves the whole world and His creation, there will be healing, there will be cure, there will be abundant blessings. Sa araw po na ito, mga minamahal na kapatid, sa pagpapatuloy po natin ng ating banal na misa, sana po ay tuwing umaga, sa ating pagbangon, ito po muna ang ating pagtitiwalaan, ang ating sasabihin, ang mamumutawi sa ating mga bibig. Mayroong Diyos na nagmamahal sa atin. 
at ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin ang siyang pagmumulan ng iba-ibang mga biyaya sa atin ang pagmamahal ng Diyos na hindi nagkukulang ang siyang magiging dahilan ng kagalingan, pagkalinga at pangangalaga sa atin. In this celebration of the Mass, let us also ask the intercession, prayer, and help of our Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, who herself trusted in the God who loves her, in the God who has become the source of her joy. Kaya nga ang awit ni Maria, ang sabi niya, ang puso ko'y nagpupuri sa Panginoon. Hindi lang isip, hindi lang bibig, hindi lang kamay at katawan ang nagpupuri sa Diyos. Ang puso. Sapagkat, ang puso ay kumikilala sa pagmamahal ng Diyos at ang puso ni Maria ay tumutugon ng mayroon ding pagmamahal. At yan din ang binibigay sa atin ng mahal na ina. Kung paanong minahal tayo ni Jesus, tayo rin naman ay kanyang minamahal. Let us put our faith today in the God who loves us and in our Mother, who loves us too. Amen. In prayer, we now approach God the, God the Father who has power and authority over all things. For every petition, let us say, Eternal Father, let us walk by faith. Eternal Father, let us walk by faith that the Church and her people may be strengthened in their faith and rely on the Lord in trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let, let us, us walk, walk by faith, that the hearts of world leaders may not be hardened and influenced by the evils of selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let, let us, us walk by faith, faith, that hardened sinners may return to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let us walk by faith, faith, that those who find love, life burdensome through illness may see meaning in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, let, let us, us walk by faith, faith, that the faithful departed may be brought safely home to the house of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father let, let us, us walk by, by faith. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father all-powerful, we place before you our needs and pray confidently for your help and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. We offer you, O Lord, these offerings of conciliation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. As we face our Lord Jesus Christ in the sacrament of his body and blood, allow Jesus to let you feel his love and the love of the Father for you. And we in turn respond with our hearts, our faith and love for Him. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now call on our loving Father. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having nourished us with heavenly food, O Lord, grant that according to the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may serve you in purity of life and magnify you with her in wholehearted praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have joined us in this celebration of the Holy Mass and we continue to pray for one another and we also include your intentions here in our celebrations so that all together we could uh, come together in strength and faith in our loving Lord, especially as we continue to undergo this uh, community quarantine. May our Lord Jesus always keep you and your family safe and well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Turn the hearts of your people always to you, O Lord, we pray. And as you give them the help of our blessed Mother Mary, Grant also the unfailing help of your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God 
bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.